Hello my friends, welcome to another Division 2 boat video. This one is a very very special one. In my opinion, this is one of the TU-10 boats you absolutely need in your arsenal. It is already changing the meta. It's catching on like wildfire and with the upcoming nerfs to incoming repairs, this boat will only be stronger as you don't need any of that to be effective. This is going to be a long one, so get a drink, relax and get ready for this awesome boat. Remember. If this boat helps you out in any way, please make sure to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button and destroy the notification bell so you never ever miss a video. I also stream most days on Twitch, link will be down in the description. I play extensively with all my boats before I put them on YouTube to make sure they're the best they can be. So if you have any questions or you just want to see the boat in action before anyone else, visit me on my live stream and enjoy the carnage. I also need to give credit to the original creator of this boat. My good friend Eyakua is the one that made it and you guys should definitely check him out. He also does awesome boat videos on his YouTube channel and streams on Twitch. His channel links will also be down in the description. With all of this out of the way, let's get into this amazing boat that will take over the game in TU10. The the mask is the DNH named mask punch drunk which gives us a whopping 20% pistol damage increase from just a brand set bonus and another 20% hatchet damage special gold attribute which comes with the mask. Just that on its own makes it by far the best in slot mask for any pistol boat. It is insane. We further have weapon damage, hazard protection and hatchet damage mod. The main stat of the boat is the headshot damage followed by hazard protection. It is very important we get hazard protection because if you don't have it, when you're on fire, you can't ADS and that means you can't hit headshots accurately, which makes the whole boat useless. So make sure you don't overlook the hazard protection. For our chest piece, we have Providence Defense chest piece with 10% headshot damage as our brand set bonus, followed by weapon damage, hazard protection, and I should have headshot damage here, but sadly I couldn't find the correct chess piece in time. We also have a headshot damage mod and the talent is Vanguard. Now I need to talk a bit about Vanguard and why it's so good. What is Vanguard you ask? It reads deploying a shield makes it invulnerable for 5 seconds and grants 45% of your armor as bonus armor to all other allies for 20 seconds and it's cooldown. Is 25 seconds. We don't really care about giving our teammates bonus armor. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a nice bonus, but we're using Vanguard for the fact that it makes our shield invulnerable for five seconds. In those five seconds, if we play our cards right and if we don't miss, we can possibly kill two people, maybe even more, if we are really good and accurate. And by those five seconds, when they're over, they still need to break your shield in order to get to you. Or even shoot your hand, which, let's face it, it's not very reliable in a way to kill a shield player. What I'm trying to say is, the shield buys you so much time in a 1v1, that you have all of the time in the world to aim for those devastating headshots resulting in lightning fast kills. Enough about Vanguard, let's look at the holster. For our holster, we have the Wyvern Wear named holster called Close Out rolled with weapon damage, headshot damage, and the special gold attributes we get with it are 500% melee damage and 10% pistol damage. So, just from the mask and the holster, we're sitting at an extra 30% pistol damage. It is absolutely insane. It is worth mentioning that you could use the Dart City Gunslinger holster to have that big charge up uh, shot that will pretty much one-shot anything or anyone. But I don't like having um, things that I need to wait to charge up and put all my eggs into that one powerful shot. Because if I miss it, I'm back to square one and I don't like that. So for me, close out is the clear favorite. The next three pieces are hazard protection focused. For our gloves, we have Yao Gear gloves that give us 10% hazard protection is a brand bonus with um, armor, hazard protection, and headshot damage. 
For our knee pads, we have one out of two Sesca pieces, which give us 10% critical hit chance, and the more important one, 10% hazard protection. Our knee pads come with weapon damage, hazard protection, and headshot damage. As for a backpack, we have the second piece of Seska with what should be hazard protection, headshot damage, and disrupt resistance as a mod. However, I do not have that piece in its glory. What I have at the moment is armor, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and blind death resistance. It is not bad, but headshot damage and hazard protection would have helped us a lot more in the current situation. And the talent we're using is concussion. Concussion makes our headshots increase total weapon damage by 10% for 1.5 seconds, and that gets further increased um, by 15% weapon damage for 10 seconds after a headshot kill. Since we are a headshot only boat, this talent really synergizes well with our style of play. A very good alternative, however, would be Vigilance, which gives us a flat 25% damage increase, but taking any damage disables the buff for 4 seconds. Let me show you guys a quick Vigilance. There we go. It is a very, very good talent. So... The talent is amazing because if they hit your shield, it does not cancel the buff. But if they hit your hand or legs, you don't have a backpack talent for 4 seconds. It really isn't a bad choice. And you just need to test them both and decide for yourself which fits your playstyle better. Now, let's have a look at our stats. We have 188.3% headshot damage. And you have to understand... I don't have headshot damage on two of my pieces. So in a perfect world, we would have over 200% headshot damage and we would have about 70% uh, and we have about 70% hazard protection. Um, which if I had better rolls, it would be even higher. As you can see, we don't have hazard protection on our backpack. We would have around 80% disrupt resistance, which could go way higher and a close to 90% burn resistance to avoid those annoying fire holsters or um, firewall fire on armor break thanks to our demo spec speaking of which we are using the demo spec for that burn resist of 20 percent once they nerf the holster in tu10 we can swap to firewall spec gunner or even technician to make a shield stronger all those specs are very very viable even now as for our skills, we are using our best friend, the Bulwark Shield. It is sitting at tier 2 at the moment. It is an absolute must-have in this build. It protects us from the enemy and it gives us time to aim for those sweet headshots. As for our second skill, there's quite a few options to run. I choose to mostly run the EMP Pulse or the Jammer because you can disrupt other enemies uh, shields or skills and it's given me quite a couple of kills already when i disrupt an enemy shield player that doesn't have hazard protection it is a must have in my opinion but as an alternative you could also run a form launcher for example to keep your enemies in place while you pummel them with the liberty or you could also run the defender drone for a 10 percent damage mitigation or even a decoy to confuse your enemy i gotta be honest with you guys this build is not easy to master you need to aim for the head and you have to be consistent it took me quite a few days of constant practice with the liberty to understand the clanky recoil and shooting patterns and to train myself to go for the head only it will take you some time but once you master it oh boy you're going to be unstoppable and people will shower you with the nice aimbot hacker accusations in all chat that is how you know you have learned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot of explanation, but I wanted you guys to be prepared and to get the most of the build. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. See you guys in my next video. Godlike, out.